Hey everyone, how's it going? Gage and Willow here. Just got done watching the Red Bull Battlegrounds StarCraft 2 tournaments. Craziness. We're actually here with John. Uh, you might know him better as Total Biscuits. Uh, John, how has the day been so far? What was the tournament like for you? It was a good event. I haven't done a live StarCraft event in a house like setting like this for over a year and a half now. So yeah, I was going to ask you about that. How was it? Yeah, it's, it's been great to come back. No doubt about that. Really, really, really great crowds, awesome people, some really great games as well. So everything pretty much, for the most part, went up without a hitch. So it was great to see. Perfect. And it seemed like the crowd actually missed you. Like, you know, everybody was loving you, everyone's eating you <laughs> up. So it was a great, great experience for you, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for them to get over that and uh, <laughs> see how it gets worse later on the forums, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So what was your, what was your overall impression today? What stood out for the uh, most for you as a positive note? I think that it's really great to see that StarCraft 2 is still bringing out the passionate fans sure. and that they really want to come out and cheer for the eSport that they really enjoy and that there's obviously really a, a good audience for that regardless of where we go. You know, it was a, a nice little setting, kind of an intimate setting, you know, very, very cozy for a lot of people. Uh, very, they were, got to get very close to the action, very close to the players, so I think everyone seemed to have a really good time. Cool. Any disappointments from the players, maybe? Uh, we were expecting Don Wei Gu and True to do a little bit better than they did. They looked like monsters in the previous tournament that got them through to this, uh, but it seems like either some of the recent changes to the patch maybe have affected them, or maybe they weren't as strong as we thought they were. You know, it's, it's entirely possible that maybe they, they just looked scary because everybody refused to pick them to play against in the previous event. This time around, they had to play, and unfortunately, they weren't up to snuff. Uh, absolutely. Will, you have any questions? Yes, yeah, so last year, Red Bull Battlegrounds, it was a 1v1. They chose to do the 2v2 this year. Um, I mean... As far as the team picking, did you? What was the process? Do you know what the process was? Actually, who was choosing the teams or how they went about doing that? So a lot of it really came down to what the players wanted to do. So we had a couple of people come in through the Toronto event. So what I heard was they weren't even a team until that actual event itself. They they literally picked each other up at the event, won, and then were able to make their way through. We had a couple of teams qualify through. Firstly qualifiers, which they had to set up a team for, and then they had to go to an event in Santa Monica, where there were eight teams and only two teams actually made it through. And of course, last but by no means least, we had last year's champion from Battlegrounds New York, Bomber, who teamed up with a mystery teammate who ended up being someone he's known for a very, very long time, and they were able to get to the finals that way. Yeah, absolutely. So as far as the, I mean, you follow the match the whole the whole uh, day long. Who stood out to you? Were there any surprises, or was there somebody playing above where they usually play? Or what kind of uh, you know surprises did you see from someone to play today? I don't think a lot of people expected uh, Violet and Massa to actually beat Dong Regu and True. That's that's a very difficult thing to do. They're an incredibly strong team, and Violet and Massa they teamed up quite a while ago, so we haven't really seen too much of them since then. Whereas we very recently see Dong Regu and True's domination in a recent tournament in Santa Monica, so it was a surprise to see DRG and True go down the way that they did. I think and obviously get eliminated in fourth place. That was a bit of a shock. But it was also great to see that Bomber and MMA, regardless of the fact that they maybe haven't teamed together for as long as everybody else, are still very capable of putting up in some great matches. I mean, some of the best players in the world. I mean, uh, Huck and, and um, sorry, uh, MC. MC. MC, Huck and MC, they, they seem so confident. I mean, they seem like they just had like more experience together. They were just playing really well. Were you picking them to win this thing? I think a lot of people were because at the moment the Protoss has some interesting new options that people haven't quite figured out how to deal with yet. They have a very strong core unit now in the Adept which is proving to be tricky to bring down particularly as a Terran player. Now, Zerg have got a few more options to deal with it but Terran are struggling, Warp Prison players got a lot stronger and then if you factor in the fact that there are now two people controlling that you have way more maneuverability, you have way more room to perform very tricky complex maneuvers which makes it much more difficult to clear them out of your base. So it's not entirely surprising. They were really, really good at yeah, Santa Monica, right. and it seems that the patches have been fairly kind to Protoss. So it's going to have to be a case of other teams and other races figuring out exactly how to beat that style, because right now it's not fully thought through yet. Are they the best team out there right now? I think at the moment, obviously. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we don't really have uh, much else to really judge it by. There's only been a few smaller Archon events. This is the biggest one so far. This obviously comes in before the official release of the Legacy of the Void expansion, so balance is very much subject, subject to change. I'd be very interested to see how they do post-launch, and hopefully they'll get a chance to come back and compete again. Excellent, excellent. I just had one other question sure. for you. Um, what can we expect to see from your WTF series? 
Uh, hopefully <laughs> games that don't suck. Yeah. That would be nice. Uh, if people have been asking me, when are you going to do Metal Gear Solid 5? Like, that game is enormous. Yeah. I, I don't even know if that's going to happen, but there are plenty of good games coming. I, I certainly hope so, because honestly, like, over the last six or seven months, I haven't seen too much that's really excited me. I was thinking last night, hmm, what am I going to do for my top 10 of 2015? And I came up with like four. Yeah. Nice. So nice. the next few months have better be good. That's yeah. all I could say. And uh, hopefully I'll be home and be able to cover them. So we've got some big games, Battlefront, Fallout 4, you know, some good stuff. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, don't know if Battlefront's going to be anything yeah. from what I've seen. <laughs> but nice not here. <laughs> he, is, he is hoping they've got a couple more months to make it a little bit better than it was. So we'll see how it goes. Excellent. Gage, anything else? Actually, I had a really quick, just a, a you and me question right now. Last one. Uh, do you like Super Mario 64? <laughs> I am hopeless of platformers. I am extra hopeless of platformers that are in 3D. It is so, a good game. It's not a good game. It's, it's a great game. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. I, you know, as much as I despise Nintendo, I cannot in all good conscience tell you that that is a bad game. I, it's you. No, no way in a million years, but I'm terrible at it, and as such, I will avoid it like the plague. Okay. We'll just settle the debate. Thank all you right. so Good. Much. Well, John, Glad thank you. you for joining us, uh, yeah. and thanks for watching for Press Star T Press Star TV. Sorry, I can't even say my own name. Uh, for all the Red Bull Battleground coverage, make sure you stay right here on Press Star TV. And congratulations, Huck and MC.